Hi everyone, this is Joy with another Lawn Fun video. For today's card, I've made a really cute picnic scene card using the Crazy Antics and Dandy Day stamp and coordinating die sets along with the stitched hillside backdrop portrait die. Now I'm starting by inking up all of my images. I'm using images from both the Dandy Day and Crazy Antics stamp sets. I'm inking that up with jet black ink onto white cardstock. And then the little flyaway pieces of the dandelion, I'm inking that up with storm cloud ink because I want that to just be a little bit softer than the dandelion itself. I want them to look like they are further away because we're gonna have a little mouse blowing them away. I'm inking those images up a few times to get a nice, good, crisp black line. Now I'm gonna start coloring these images. I'm using Copic markers and I'm coloring the picnic basket, the blanket, the two little mice that are sitting down, all of the ants and the food, those are from the Crazy Antic stamp set. And then we have flowers and dandelions and then that taller little mouse who's standing up and that is from the Dandy Day stamp set. So when I'm coloring with Copic markers, I like to come in with my lightest color, then come in with my darkest and add shadow, bringing in that medium color to blend kind of between the light and the dark and then come back over one more time with the light and get everything blended together so you have a nice good blend. If I need to come back and add more shading or shadowing with the darker color, then I will do that. I'm adding a little bit of gray here for the white checks in the blanket because that gives the white some dimension. Ex just ignore this blanket here that I've colored. This was the first blanket that I colored and it just was a little too dark for the fun light picnic kind of feel. So I left that out. The mice I'm coloring all the same. I'm using T1, 3, 5, and 7. The blanket for the red I did R05, 2989, along with the cute little ants. I'm coloring the cheese, the watermelon, the popsicle. The cheese was... Y19, YR15, and YR18. And then I've got the fun kind of peachy oranges, which is YR02, 04, and 09. And I'm just coloring, I'm trying to keep the color scheme pretty simple, so I am trying not to use too many colors, too many markers. For the leaves, I am doing YG21, 25, and 67. I'm using the same greens for the watermelon. I'm just having the inner part of the rind a little bit lighter. And for the pink part of the watermelon, I'm using R20, 22, and 24, which I think is a great color for the watermelon. Now this is the straight flower border die cut. I wanted to add some more flowers. So I'm coloring the pink flowers R20, 22, and 24. Then I'm gonna color in, come in and color the leaves the same. I also, in the same green, excuse me. And I also colored the yellow flowers, I ended up not using those for this card design. Once that's done, I'm just gonna trim off with my scissors and just put those aside to use on the card. Now here is the Stitched Hillside Backdrop Portrait Die. I've die cut that from a white cardstock. I am taping off where I don't want the grass hills to be because the upper part will be sky. So I'm coming in with Distress Oxide ink and Twisted Citron and then Mowed Lawn to add a little bit of a darker color. Again, blending these two colors toge together gives the grass some dimension. I'm gonna tuck a piece of paper into that little slit there, folding it down because I just want some more green at the bottom of that top hill. So a darker green using the Mowed Lawn. Once that's done, I will come back in with the Twisted Citron and just blend that out till, I, till it's nice and smooth transition between the two colors. I've also die cut some, some grassy hillside borders and I just add a white cardstock again. I'm just coming in and inking with the Twisted Citron and adding a little bit of the mowed lawn to the top part of the grass pieces. Now for the sky, I am using cracked pistachio and tumbled glass. And I have the tumbled glass at the bottom and I'm blending really kind of going over the cracked pistachio completely to get a nice good blend. Now I have a card panel, a full card panel that I'm inking up the sky with that and I want it to match the front panel. So again, I'm coming in with the tumbled glass at the bottom and cracked pistachio at the top. And I'm just gonna blend those two together but instead of just blending where the colors meet, I am coming back over the whole cracked pistachio with the tumbled glass 
to get a really kind of a different color and it softens up that cracked pistachio. So now I'm going to glue these grass pieces to the back of these hills. I will trim off the excess. I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue to hold that in place. And for the one below, I'm going to tuck that in where it's already die cut, but I need to trim that piece down a little bit smaller. So I'm just lining it up on the big die cut on the stitched hillside backdrop die cut. And I'm just going to tuck that in and then glue that down. And I've got two more pieces, one that's going to go in the back. So I have another hill in the back and another piece at the very bottom of the front panel. So here is that back grass panel. And it just gives us a lot more hills. It makes the scene a lot more busy, if that makes sense. Now, because this is a stitched hillside backdrop, I want to still be able to see the stitching at the bottom. So I cut this grass piece to fit inside and right above the stitching on the front of this card panel. But look at all those cute little grassy hills. That turned out so, so cute. Now I'm going to add some foam tape behind this because I do want to have a little bit of dimension when this is on top of that inked piece of that full inked background panel. It's A2 sized. So I'm going to add some foam tape behind this, remove the release tape and just add that. And now we have an automatic little bit of dimension. I'm adding the Life's a Picnic with You sentiment and that is from the Crazy Antics. I stamped that in jet black ink. And now we're going to put this whole little scene together. So I have all my pieces die cut using the coordinating dies. And I'm going to start with the bigger pieces and tucking them into and behind the grass. I'm starting with the biggest pieces and then working my way down to the smallest finishing pieces. So I have the blanket, the picnic basket, a few of these larger flowers. I have the mouse that's going to be blowing on this dandelion. So I glued the dandelion to his hand. I, I decided to put some foam tape behind him for dimension. That flower behind that mouse is glued directly to the back panel. So that gives dimension because that mouse is on foam tape. These cute little mice that are sitting on the blanket, one is eating watermelon, one is eating a popsicle. I'm going to start tucking in some of this food around the blanket and the cute little mice tucking in some food into the basket so that's kind of popping out and you've got cute little images there a dandelion in front of the picnic basket and what i think is great with all these little grassy hills is that you can just tuck things in and it feels super cozy and just like lots of things are going on so now i'm just going to start placing in a lot of these other flowers the dandelion pieces that we stamped with the storm cloud ink, like those are flying away. And we're gonna come in with some ants here pretty quick, that cute little ant sitting on top of the picnic basket. And then two more ants off to the right there. And I'm just using the liquid glue to adhere all of these little images down. And then we've got these pink flowers. These are the die cut flowers from the straight flower border that we colored with our Copic markers. And I'm just going to tuck a few of those in and around to kind of finish off this little picnic scene. I think having the pops of this kind of pink added a lot with the greens and reds and oranges. So now I'm coming in with my black glaze pen, adding some dots to the eyes. It kind of makes the eyes pop, gives a little bit of a shiny look. The white gel pen to add highlights to our little critters, some little dots to the cheeks, uh, adding little dots to the watermelon pieces with the black glaze pen on the seeds. So it looks like the seeds are really kind of shiny. And just again, finishing off with the white highlights on some of the flowers, on some of the leaves. I'm gonna add a few dots up there with the dandelion pieces flying away because I just felt like it needed a little something else up there. And then I'm gonna attach this to a white A2 size card base. And now we've got this great little scene card with all these cute little mice and ants and they're just having a fun picnic. I wanna thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching and I hope you enjoyed this project and I'll see you soon, bye.